So we just got back from church and we had a really great service today. Um, and I am trying to get Marcus to set some time, sit, sit down, because he's always working. I'm trying to get him to set aside just a little bit. And um, I wanna do like a recording for you guys about our story and really just kind of tell you like where all of this started, why we're here, um, how we got to living out here on a mountain off grid. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna be able to get him, but um, he's a very behind the scenes kind of guy. And um, so whenever I can get him, I try to get him and take advantage of anything I can get out of him. <laughs> on camera here but um yeah he is just uh constantly working he's constantly going and uh so we'll see if i can get him down sit him down and we can do a, a little recording <clears throat> about our story um but if you guys want to know anything specific oh my goodness something just fell you know we have acorns out here but sometimes they just sound like, they sound really big, like something else. And I don't know what it is. <clears throat> but um, if you guys want to know anything specific about us, put it in the comments and I will be sure to um, get to those and answer them for you. Um, I want you guys to get to know us. And I know that, you know, I'm kind of slowly getting into the recording part of this. Um, and... But yeah, I just, I want you guys to get to know us and, um, our story. So let's see what I can do. See what I can get out of them. But yeah, we had, uh, went to church today and the message was so good. It was just really, it just really spoke to me. Um, but it was about how God, uh, does not basically in Stephanie's terms here, <laughs> God does not need a bunch of people, uh, to do what he needs to do or what he wants to do. Um, he has, he can, he can, it says he can save from the least to the greatest. I mean, he does not need a whole bunch and he doesn't need um, the majority um, to be for someone to believe. And, you know, like <clears throat> sometimes I, I just get to thinking, you know, there's just things that, that the Lord will lay on my heart and kind of lead me to believe him for that he hasn't shared with like my husband or or my kids or you know whoever it is that's in my circle and sometimes I do feel like you know Lord don't I need my husband to believe with me um don't I need you know this person don't I need my kids to come along with me about this particular thing and and the Lord has just um, answered me today and said, no, all I need is one. All I need is one person to believe. And if God is laying something on my heart personally and dealing with me about, then he must be dealing with me about uh, my faith in a particular area. And so if that's the case, then uh, yes, he absolutely only needs me. And so if it's something that you're believing for, if it's something that you are trusting God, you want or need God to do something in your life, um, you're all that it, all he needs is just one person to truly believe and trust him. And um, that just really encouraged me today. So I hope that encouraged you uh, because I'm going to take him for what he said and um, I'm going to trust him. I'm going to believe him. And I've always heard that um, God is a big God, so ask big. And there's nothing that he cannot do. There's um, nothing is impossible with him. And so um, that's what I'm doing. So hope you guys were blessed by that. <laughs> hey guys, we are going to show you uh, our solar setup. Marcus is going to walk you through it and tell you... Um, I guess the details because he's the brains behind all of this and um yeah i'm gonna take you along and let you see all right babe this is all set up here we have two sections of panels uh these are all six panels here they're 200 watts a piece they're 
bifacial solar panels and uh, the reason why I got them mounted like this is because I need to, I want to get sunlight from the back side bifacial means they get sunlight from reflected light off the ground or whatever that's up on them it gets reflected sunlight so they receive watts from behind and the sun from in front mm -hmm. also reason why I got them mounted on these uh, sawhorses is because I had them I had them from an old woodworking business that I had a while back so I like why not just mount the panels on these because you can mount two by fours on the sides of each one of these sawhorses and so I did that and it worked perfect for me uh, to spread them out yeah. to where I could get sunlight in between <clears> them <throat> and get that ref reflected light from the back side also. So right now, these panels bring in a, the peak hours of the day, 850 something watts. And all together, that's what they bring in at the, at the peak hours of the day. Right now, I'm pulling in right at a little over 700 watts on this these right here because the sun is now heading this way toward going down and these power what all all six of these these panels here which i'm fishing to wipe some of the dust off these panels here pause um all our electronics into in the uh our apartment our daughter's tiny home and our camper these power all of that uh tvs um, phones, internet, internet um, their gaming system, gaming Xboxes. It it powers all of that. Yeah. And these over here, we, we just added the, these small. I ones. just added these here. <clears throat> and these are <coughs> these are just your regular panels. They're not bifacial like those over there. They're only 100 watts a piece. And these are powering our uh, power station. Now, power station aside, which I'm going to take you inside and show you that too. It powers our um, air fryer, coffee maker, and, microwave, uh, microwave, and toaster, whatever's in the kitchen, ki kitchen appliances. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also meant to add this too. These are also powering our deep freezer. Also, that's in our oh, apartment. Oh yeah, we just uh, pulled that out of our storage. Yeah. So, uh, and these also, I have it to where I can switch it from our power station, getting sun in on our power station, powering all our appliances in the kitchen to charging our camper battery, which is a lead acid battery, 200 amp hour battery. And that runs our, um, our lights inside the camper, our water pump, and um, our furnace. So this can bring in solar to charge that battery also. Mm -hmm. So right now I have it bringing in power to our power station. So I'm just gonna wipe some of the dust off. So because, these, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Because dust will reduce your uh, power. It can, if you get a lot accumulated on top of your panels. So I like to keep them clean. So these two right here power our battery camper and um, our kitchen appliances. Correct. And, and it's, doing, it's doing a great job. Uh, I, I want to add some more to it, but I will eventually add, one, add a few more to it. But that's what's happening right now. And it's, it's actually uh, doing a very good job. These here are doing a very good job for us. Uh, like uh, for instance, uh, yesterday it was raining. They were still pulling in over a hundred watts in the rain and the clouds. Yeah, and I was very cloudy. impressed with that. Yeah, and we was able to charge up our uh, new system, which I just installed. Which you're going to take you inside and show you that new system. We uh, charged it up uh, about three days ago, and uh, before it started raining, and we were able to run our system without a charge for two. Two and a half, I think it was, full days, two and a mm -hmm. half days, maybe. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why we had to charge it last night uh, from power, AC, 
our uh, system is because it rained yesterday all day and we didn't get enough sun in. But right now, for the next two weeks, we're gonna be able to run off these. Yeah. It's supposed to be sunny every day and um, it's gonna bring in power for us to, to, to sustain our system to run constantly. Yeah, it's helped, it's helped relieve uh, the need for the generator big time because yeah. we were using, running the generator nonstop. I had to put it on the generator yesterday because we didn't get enough sun in to charge our system, um, our new system, which like I say, we're gonna take you inside and walk you through uh, it. So if you wanna come along, you come with us and we'll show you all of that. All right, what's... Another addition to uh, our solar system is these, uh, these uh, power uh, breakers right here that I got these uh, panels hooked to. This particular one right here goes to our uh, big panel setup right here. And this is this one over here. Oh, hold on, let me you, come over here. You can see this one here. It goes to our, our smaller set of panels. This is a shutoff switch. You know, if I want to cut power off, our solar coming in um, to the camper until uh, our camper battery or our power station, this one is powering, I can just shut it off with this breaker. Mm -hmm. Same with this one here, I can shut power off going into our, our uh, system from right here. And this is what these are for, very important. Like for instance, if you're changing wire, uh, connections uh, over there, lightning or anything like that, you can shut power off right here mm -hmm. for anything going up to the camp. Okay. That's see, pretty much it. See, he's thought of it all. Told you he's the brains of this whole operation. <laughs> That's my babe. <laughs> That's my babe. Take you inside now. Okay, so inside of the RV we have in our bunk room, we've converted this top bunk here to... What is it called, our babe? solar system uh, um, control location. room. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is the uh, control room the reason here. Reason why I did that is because these lithium batteries they uh, they can't they won't charge below thirty two degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit. So they need to be in a place where it can stay warm and cool at the same time. And so this was an empty space, so I just converted to our, our place where all of this goes and. Um, Right here is our charge controller. It's that green light means that it is bringing in solar from those uh, panels uh, that we have out there, uh, the big panels. And right now uh, <clears throat> we got a little cloud cover, but this is my uh, display here on this laptop. It's mm -hmm. reading. It. It's reading from this. From? Solar controller right here. Okay. And it's reading the watts, the battery, um, state of charge, the volts coming in from the solar panels, and this particular voltage here is what I'm getting in from the panels. I got a little bit of cloud coverage right now, so that changes constantly. And <clears throat> this is our power inverter. It's a 1500 watt power inverter pure sine wave inverter. It's connected to these batteries. And it converts our DC from here, from these batteries, to AC to power everything pretty much in our camper. And these are 300 amp hour batteries, which I have two of them. So these are able to last a, a, a pretty good while. Mm -hmm. And I don't have this inverter on right now to show you, but this screen right here shows you also the battery status, the, um, the amount of watts going out, and uh, it shows you, uh, yeah, how many volts the battery have right now. Is it getting low and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. And this over here is our power station. And the two smaller panels outside are connected to this. And they are bringing in like 87 watts, 90 watts. See, it's, it's going back and forth because we got a little bit of clouds out there right now. And this powers our appliances in the kitchen. <coughs> I said before, our air fryer, microwave, 
stuff like that. And <coughs> this is able to to be charged from our our main system too. If we're not getting enough solar in, I'm able to charge this battery back up from this system. Mm -hmm. And so far so good. It's been running real well. Um, it's working for us. It's been, I put it this way, I couldn't believe how long it lasted without sun. Um, and I was just impressed with, you know, how it was doing. This is brand new. We just got this in and I installed it this past week and and this here is also a, a, a battery charger that I bought. This right here, um, can if we got some rainy days like we did yesterday, I can um, plug this in and I clip it to the batteries here and plug it in our AC in the wall and I'll generate out there and it will charge these batteries back up. Yeah, all of this is foreign to me. I, I have no idea. I just follow with what he does. <laughs> But this is how we started. So this battery here, we would charge this with the generator and then he added panels to it and it started powering or charging. Our panels were charging this, but we still had to use the generator quite a bit. So that's why we added more panels. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn this batteries. on just so you can see this little screen right here. Right now, it shows that our battery is just about full. It's 13.6 volts. That's It's been charging from the solar out there. But it's it's not putting out any loads because it shows zero watts. We don't have anything hooked to it right now. We're right now just charging everything up from solar today, mm -hmm. from the rain uh, rainy day we had yesterday. And we have everything running off this right now Yeah. at the moment. So this is pretty much our system. And I'm very happy with it so far. So, um, you like do it. I mean, I know the answer to this, but you like doing this uh, over electric, like the power grid. Oh yeah, I like uh, I like having God's free power. Let me put it that way. He gave us a sun out there, and it's putting out thousands, hundreds, and thousands of watts a day when it's shining. And I like to, I like to get that free power from God. He gave it to us free and and um, that's my reason for that. Yeah. Is it's the Lord is providing it uh, for us. And then I know that it is a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of learning. At least it is for me. I'm still trying to learn, but um, it is freeing. There is a, a sense of freedom that yeah, comes with this. It is. <clears throat> it is a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this back off because it's not in use at the moment and I don't want it to to um, be on without okay. a load okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now um, I hope you've enjoyed our tour um, and if you have any questions about what you saw um, obviously we're learning as we go but we will try our best to answer them if you just put the questions in the comments um, but if you know someone who is uh, thinking of doing something like this, uh, go ahead and share our video with them. And, you know, hopefully we can at least be an inspiration to them <laughs> that it is possible. Um, so I appreciate you guys and we will see you guys on the next video.